Welcome to the State Television Company Western Armenia broadcast for today. President Armenia Gabdahamyan made the speech reminding about the importance of the Treaty of Severus on the recognition of the state of Western Armenia. The 46th issue of the Western Armenian Weekly newspaper has been published. Court of Baku sentenced Rashid Beglarian to 15 years in prison. Exceptional forms were found in the area of Erebuni. Ruben Galchan's work is another strong counterattack to Baku's falsification. The team of basketball players of Eastern Armenia beat the Gibraltar national team in the next round. The specialists who were invited to this consultation focused their attention to various international legal mechanisms which can be created to protect and guarantee the basic rights of the population affected by armed conflicts as well as on the difficulties of their implementation. The President of the National Council of the Republic of Western Armenia, Mr. Armena Gabdaham, gave a speech reminding the importance of the Treaty of Severus in recognition of the state of Western Armenia. Mr. Abrahamian also referred to the war in 2020, which was carried out by the international coalition, including Turkish Islamic forces and operations of Baku against the native Armenian population of Artsakh, followed by a siege that ended with the ethnic cleansing of population. He introduced the process of consideration of various complaints submitted to the European Court of Human Rights. Emphasizing the current destruction of Armenian heritage in Artsakh by Baku and Turkish military forces. The 36th issue of the Western Armenia Weekly newspaper has been published. The photo of Paul Snobad is on the cover of the new issue. July 26 was the anniversary of the death of Paul Snobad, an outstanding Armenian public and political figure, great philanthropist and businessman, a man who was the son of Egyptian Prime Minister Nubar, a man who has led the Armenian people's struggle for freedom and independence for decades. In the 46th issue of the Western Armenia Weekly newspaper, you can be informed the regular sessions of the National Assembly the government of the Republic of Western Armenia, the speech of the Speaker of the Government, the history of the St. Sovanes Makortis Church or the Green Hour located in the occupied city of Shushi, the historical village of Bichanak in Nakhichevan, as well as culture and other public themes. Armenian, English, French and Turkish versions of the weekly newspaper in PDF format you can download below. The Baku court sentenced Rashid Beglarian for Marchak to 15 years in prison. This is reported by the Azerbaijan mass media. He will spend the first five years in prison and the next 10 in a strict regime colony. It should be noted that the prosecutor reminded the 17-year prison sentence. Let's remind that on August 1, 2023, Baku border guards arrested 61-year-old Rashid Beglarian, a citizen of the Republic of Herzog, who got lost and ended up in the territory occupied by Baku. Baku detained him in November 2023. Artsakh citizen is allegedly accused of the Khojalu genocide. The case was initiated under five criminal articles at once. The Armenian-French archaeological expedition carried out exhibitions in the Rebuni Fortress in mid-June and recorded fantastic results. In a conversation with Aravo Dayem, a member of the group Mikhail Badalian said that the exhibitions were carried out both in the castle and outside the castle. Moreover, the exhibitions continued outside the castle in the site of the previous year, where floors from the Archmanid period were found. They especially referred to the excavations carried out in the Pottery Hall because Cunier forms inscriptions containing units of volume were found between two jars. It was interesting one of the volume units where a word arus was written on a splinter of the pot and an arus was a ray unit and in the form of arus we only had three fragments of pots which were once found from Haikabert in Western Armenia, he noted. According to him, this is the first inscription containing a unit of virus volume found in the territory of Eastern Armenia. The archaeologist reported that the last time a cuneiforms were found was as a result of archaeological exhibitions in Eastern Armenia in 2011, again from Erebuni. According to Mikhail Badalian, one of the cuneiforms is rare and he is a specialist in regard to archaeology recorded a very important fact. Oratian bone row heads were found between two jars. According to him, perhaps we are dealing with a ritual because they probably stored grain or wine in the jars and the bone arrows were hardly used for war because metal arrows were mainly used for war. 
At the National Academy of Sciences of Armenia, the presentation of the bilingual book Historical Maps of the 2014 National Atlas of Baku and research of the invented term West Azerbaijan took place by geographer, cartographer Ruben Galchan. The author informed that the authors of the National Atlas of Baku deleted the name Armenia from the reprinted maps and reshoot them as the supposedly real image of the maps. Editors often made the mistake of partially erasing of largely ignoring other Armenian names on reprinted maps. In Galchan's work, cartographic forgeries are revealed and real copies of fake map printed in the atlas are presented. Moreover, it is noted that there was never a country called Azerbaijan on the northern bank of the Arax River, at the same time confirming that the name Azerbaijan belongs to the northwestern province of Iran, a fact visible on all maps printed as early as 1918. The book consists of two parts related to cartographic forgeries of Baku. The first part discusses forged map of foreign cartographers as well as the original of these maps. The second part is devoted to the disclosure of Baku's forgery, which presents the territory of Eastern Armenia as Western Azerbaijan. The team of basketball player under 16 years of age of Eastern Armenia continues its performances in the subgroup matches of the C Division of the European Championship. In the regular round, our boys beat the Gibraltar national team. The most effective player of the match was Edgar Agabegan, who scored 17 points. The Armenian team celebrated two victories after three games and entered the semi-finals. The same age group, the girls team, will continue the struggle for the fifth eight places. The European under-20 boys subgroup matches will also begin today. In Pishtet, Romania, our national team will compete with teams from Sweden, Hungary, Ukraine, Kosovo and Moldova. Dear viewers, this was all for today. I wish you good weekend. Goodbye.